Excellent. Hi everyone, my name is Wei from the Massboy team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the evasion module type that's new to the Massboy framework. So the purpose of the evasion module type is to allow users to have um, better pen testing experience against uh, targets that are running antivirus. Uh, for our developers, the new module type allows you to be creative in building a payload, for example, um, using PowerShell, JavaScript, C Sharp, etc. and build it faster. To demonstrate this new feature, I have a module that's called Windows Defender EXE. It utilizes things such as encryption, code randomization, and a little anti-emulation to stay undetected on Windows 10. Let me show you. So, here's the code for our evasion module. Writing an evasion module is not like writing a file format exploit. You have access to the payload object that spits out the shellcode for your module to use. But you won't get a handler when you run a module. In this module, the shellcode is encrypted using RC4 with some extra junk at the end. Open process is used to detect Windows API emulation. The compile random C API will compile the source code and keep the binary unique. And finally, this binary will be saved in a local MSF directory. Using an invasion module is pretty similar to an exploit. Uh, in this example, I will load the Windows Defender EXE module and assign the Windows Metributor Reverse HPS payload. The HPS Metributor gives us an extra protection because it will hide our malicious traffic. Um, HTTPS is an only payload that supports cryptography. Um, there's RC42, but uh, HTTPS has been giving me the best experience, so I'll stick to this. And here we go. Now that we have a file, we need to set up a handler. Um, the quickest way for this is by using the handler command like this. After the handler is up and running, we are going to move our evasive payload to the Windows 10 machine and run it. But before that, let's make sure Windows Defender is running. For this demonstration, we have the real-time protection and cloud delivery protection turned on. There's actually another setting called automatic sample submission, but I'm not interested in submitting my payload for Microsoft to flex, so that is disabled. Okay, now let's run the file. Usually with Windows Defender, if a malicious program is detected, it is automatically deleted. If it fails to detect the program, but the program is generating malicious traffic, then Windows Defender will shut down the program. Hopefully, we don't run into any of that. Sweet, and we got a shell. To get this evasion module, look for it in your mouse by framework. And that's it for the video. Thanks for watching.